I'd like to introduce you to the two gentlemen I have with me. Constable Metcalf, Police Department. Yes. Welcome to our show. Thank you. And you're also with the Pleasant Citizens Youth Club. Yes, I'm employed full time here in Cavalier and running the Youth Club, holding and so on. Right, and we also have Mr. Softly from Westland Autos. Welcome to our show, Bob. Thank you. Um, let's first of all talk about the raffle and the reason for it. This is your major fundraising each year, isn't it? The yes, over the Falcon raffle. Yes, over the past years we've had um, a raffle or a major, we've had to run a major raffle um, of this type and uh, the funds that are raised from this raffle are used wholly and solely within the club um, for the improvement of it, um, equipment, etc. Um, and paying off a couple of loans that we've got with the club, um, which we still don't own at the moment. It's, uh, but, you know, that's basically what it is. What kind of monies do you usually get out of it or what kind of the fundraiser is it? And how much? This raffle that we've run this year has been extremely successful in that um, it's been, well, we've raised the most uh, this year over the years past, um, which is roughly at the moment, it hasn't been collated as yet, but it's about 5,000 profit, mate, I suppose. 5,000. Yes. That's, that's a good raffle, isn't it? It is. It's extremely good. And um, the committee of the club uh, are extremely pleased that um, it has been a success that it is mm. uh, because of mainly the work that goes into uh, conducting these raffles. And Do you find it better to have one major raffle a year rather than lots of little ones? I guess that, you know, experience has proved that, well, I guess the people of Kogali Boulder expect it to be one major raffle from the Kogali Boulder Police and Citizens and that's why they contribute and yeah. why you get such a support. It is. Um, the people of this district um, support us extremely well mm. and uh, we as a club are very grateful for that. You um, do have smaller raffles and what have you through yes. don't you? Yeah we have cake stalls and uh, occasionally we have a, a Christmas stocking which mm. uh, uh, this year we won't be running mainly because of the fact that um, this raffle has been extended a little while longer due to the fact we couldn't sell the tickets. So to start with, and then to start with, that's sold right. Them. It's happened at the end, and uh, with the Lotteries Commission, um, the situation there is that uh, we're, we've run out of time to apply right. for another An raffle. For, yeah, for oh, right, for another raffle. Yeah, or well, to draw at Christmas time for the right. We run well, short of the three months. Yeah, well, let's mm. hope you get support enough to keep running the way you do with the smaller raffles that you may have through yeah. the year. Uh, Constable, what kind of activities are Police and Citizens running at uh, the centre? Basically it's um, orientated for children. Uh, we've got boys gymnastics, girls gymnastics, uh, tiny tots which is between three and five. It's uh, extremely popular mm. at the club. We've got air rifles, weightlifting, uh, boxing, karate, judo. I don't think I've left any out. <laughs> I'm sure you have because you've got a, quite a range of activities there, haven't you? Yes, um, there is. It's usually local instructors that come along and teach. Yeah, they're all local instructors and uh, they do an extremely good job. Um, a lot of the, the gym instructors that we've got are very highly qualified um, within the levels of uh, the WA Gymnastics Association. And uh, we've been, uh, this year actually, we've had a, a very good year in that uh, the air rifle section of the club has uh, won major trophies within the, yes, the Police great. and Citizens and Federation in Perth. The gymnastics uh, won the overall country or the WA country uh, championship trophy in the last competition that we went to and which is a credit to the, the kids that competed and also the instructors that uh, prepared them for it. Mm. And, uh, well, you must be very proud. This is your first year with Police and Citizens, I Yes, I arrived here in December this year, and uh, it's been a busy year. <laughs> I bet it has. Well, thanks, Constable. Perhaps we can ask Bob to tell us a little bit about this well, this, car we've got. This is the, the third time we've been associated with a car apple with the uh, Police and Citizens Youth Club. Mm. Our principal, Mr Hiles, is uh, quite keen on the club. He has been involved for a number of years. And this year the prize, of course, is an XE Falcon GL sedan. It's a 3.3 litre six-cylinder engine car, manual transmission. has a laminated windscreen and metallic paint. 
I think really the ideal family car and whoever wins it will certainly be a very proud owner. Thanks Bob. Um, would you like to mention the other prizes that we've got for the open? Yes, the other prizes. Uh, second prize. Please. Second prize is, uh, is a dishwasher, which was um, Homecraft uh, of Kalgoorlie have um, come forward with. And the third prize is a return trip for two to, uh, well, Kalgoorlie to Perth and back again, uh, which was the airlines of Australia have um, they've donated that prize completely. Well, that's terrific. You've got some good prizes coming up then. Sure Wonder, can we give it a shake? And I believe, sure Bob, can. you're going to draw the lucky ticket? Yes, I don't know whether I should shake it too much. <laughs> well, can I shake it to make sure you haven't yeah, got that yeah. ticket on top? Mm -hmm. You're going to leave the top on? All right. I can give it the stare at the same time. You can, <laughs> Well, we may be able to get the winners up to... See their reaction. Hopefully, and I hope it's a, a local. Yes, you're lovely. The winning ticket is number 4386 Elaine Senior, 135 Ango Street, Norseman. Oh, so lovely. she'd have to get her skates on as she's coming to the show. <laughs> sure. Well, that's beautiful. Thank Congratulations to Elaine of Norseman. One happy family in Norseman. Oh, I'm sorry. They'll be scooting up to get their new car, aren't they? Second prize? Second prize, ticket 5815 to Bill McKenzie, 114 Adder Street, Kalgoorlie. Phone 214444. Oh, lovely. Well, we may be able to get a reaction from Bill. He's home doing the dishes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. And who's going to have that lovely weekend in Perth? Well, she doesn't need it. It's ticket 1447, Jenny Steele. Okay. It's 105 ENC Street, Cottesloe. Uh, phone number 3832056. Oh, lovely. They might like to come back to Kalgoorlie. Yeah. Oh, well, that's lovely. So we've got two outsiders, if we can say outsiders. On Norseman's definitely within our range. That's right. It's within the region. Yes, yeah. that's terrific, isn't it? And one Cottesloe winner, which is fantastic. We'll have a visitor back to Kalgoorlie. Sure will. Oh, thanks very much, Bob. For Thank you. Drawing that Thank you, Peter. Thanks. Bob for uh, the support from Westland to the club. Uh, it's very much appreciated, and uh, if you can convey that to, to Mick for us, I certainly very will. Very much appreciated. Well, thanks, viewers, and we'll be back in a little while if we can contact Mr. McKenzie, see if he's home doing the dishes or he needs a hand because we've got a wonderful prize here for him. And um, we hope that is it Jenny St oh, no, the first prize winner is Elaine Senior from yeah. Norseman. Yeah. We might be able to get some kind of a reaction from her too. Thanks, viewers. We'll be back in a moment. Urge to buy one. They're still only four ninety five and still helping Telethon. Now that's not much for such a worthwhile cause, is it? <laughs> oh, hi, Mum. The whole family's here. Viewers, welcome back. And we have with us the winner of our lovely falcon that we drew earlier this um, this afternoon. We're not magicians, as we've as you know, but we're, we're, we've come back a couple of hours later and Elaine certainly has moved up here in a hurry to collect her new car. I think she's pretty excited, so we'll just ask Elaine, what was your first reaction on hearing that you've won the car? I'm nothing, I just cried. <laughs> like a baby. You cried like a baby. Elaine, I believe that the car was well needed, you know. Oh, well, our own breakdown used to me to be towed home from the main street. <laughs> of Norseman. I had it. What kind of a car did you have? Valiant Station Wagon. Oh, great. And it's an old car. Yeah, it's finished now anyway. And the family, were the family excited? Oh, well, my kids, I don't think have registered with it yet, but everyone else was here. Yes. You managed to contact your husband? I believe you had trouble oh, I've tracking him down. I'll be now or later. <laughs> so everybody in Norseman heard you yelling from the house except your husband? No, I was in the main street. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you hear from the main street? From the police. Oh, Darryl right. came and told me. They next came. Oh, and so they actually tracked you down in the main street? Yeah. Oh, I was at work, you know. Well, that's shop, corner shop working. That's fantastic, isn't it? So you're really excited. Oh, yeah. Very joy. Thrilled. <laughs> that's beautiful. Well, we've got with the senior inspector here to hand over the keys. Um, don't drive fast no, I won't going drive it home. home. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to drive it home? No. How are you going no, to get it home? Oh, right. <laughs> oh, well, that's beautiful. Take, take care with it and look after it, and I know you will. And congratulations from us all. Um, you'd like to hand the keys over? Yes, Maxine. Um, Elaine, on behalf of the Police and Citizens Youth Club, congratulations once again. I know you're highly delighted. You can see it sticking out all over your face. And 
Congratulations and happy matching. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks very much, Elaine, and we're glad you won it. It's cute. Yeah. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank you. Viewers, thanks very much. We'll be back next Tuesday afternoon. So we'll see you then. Bye.